Hey guys, this is Vasily from Storyline and today I'm going to show you how to create your first Alexa skill without coding in less than 7 minutes. So the first thing you need to do is to go to getstoryline.com and click sign up button. It will ask you to log in or sign up using your Google account and I'm going to choose this one. And so the next thing is to create your first project in Storyline. So I don't have any skills created yet, that's why I see this tiny little rocket right in the middle. And to create a new one, I need to click New Skill button and choose New Custom Skill. So the next thing Storyline will ask me is to enter my skill information, which is name and language. And the name of my skill is going to be Storyline Demo and the language is English USA. So the next thing you'll see is the canvas. And the canvas is draggable and zoomable, you can zoom in and zoom out, and right in the middle of the canvas you will see welcome block. And you can think about blocks as they're like short conversations between Alexa and user. So if you open welcome block, and the, and the welcome block is in the green stroke, so the green stroke means that this block is the first block of your Alexa skill. If you click on this block it will open the left side of the canvas in the sidebar, and now I'm going to add a couple of steps in this block. So in Storyline we have five steps, which you, you can see here, right in the bottom. The first step I want to add is text thread by Alexa step. And now I need to enter what Alexa should say to our user. And the first message should be like, hello, welcome to Storyline. And then I want to ask our user a question, which is, how are you doing today? All right. Now we have two messages from Alex, and let's create one user reply. And by creating user reply, you can think like, what would user reply to that question that Alexa just asked? And um, what do you usually reply for how are you doing question? Either like, great, or probably not bad. All right, so now we have a little tiny conversation here, and this block is already done. So let's create a new Alexa message right from this great user reply. To do that, you need to click this arrow button, which allows you to connect user reply to another block or tab, and click Create New Block, because we have only one block right now. And you can see what happened. So Storyline draw a line from this great user reply to a new block, which is called great, and it's Storyline automatically opened this great block in the left side of your screen. So now we need to add a couple of Alexa messages to reply to this great user reply. Let's say something like, that's great. All right. You can also drag and drop these blocks as you want, you can position them. And let's also create a block for not bad user reply. To do that, again, I click not bad user reply, and I click connect user reply to block step button, and I click create new block. And here, I'm going to say, that's not bad. Let's make something simple. Take care. All right, and now we can play that right in the browser. How are you doing today? Great. That's great. Hello. So we just heard the storyline told me the exact same message that I entered here. Playing the skill in the browser is actually a really good way to prototype of Alexa skills and to understand like what content do you need to write. But I'm going to add one more user reply here, which is unexpected user reply. So now we have only two options. User could say either great or not bad. And if user says something else besides great and not bad, the skill will stop. So let's fix that. If you open welcome block and hover your mouse right there, you will see unexpected user reply tab. So I'm going to add that one. And um, unexpected user, re user reply tab is called else. And I'm going to create a new block out of this else step. And here I need to just add a couple of messages read by Alexa. So the first would be like, um, hmm, I didn't get that. And let's do one more interesting thing here. What if we could ask the same question, the same how are you doing question again after, the, after Alexa would say here, hmm, I didn't get that. So to do that, 
you need to open this text read by Alexa tab and click go to another step button. And here you can connect you can connect this step with another step and route the execution from here, for example, here to how are you doing today. So to do that, you click here and you just choose a message or enter it, like how are you doing today? And that's it. So now you can see this little dotted line which goes from the end of this step to the beginning of that how are you doing step. So let's test that in the browser. Hello, welcome to Storyline. How are you doing today? Blah, blah, blah. Hmm, I didn't get that. How are you doing today? Not bad. That's not bad. Take care. So we just heard that Storyline did everything correct and it played us this, hmm, I didn't get that message and then we heard the same how are you doing question again. So the next thing we need to do is to deploy our Alexa skill to our Echo device. And the way you do that in Storyline is by clicking this Deploy button and connecting your Amazon account. Storyline will redirect it to Amazon and here you need to just like click Continue button. And if you have your Amazon developer account, the deployment process will start immediately. If you don't have one, Storyline will ask you to go to developer.amazon.com and get one. It's like super easy. It takes a couple of minutes. And usually the deployment process takes about two minutes for the first time and then you, you can update your content without any deployment. So we see that the deploy process is already done and now we can launch our Alexa skill on Echo device. All right, now we have my Echo show ready and I can just say, hi Alexa, open Storyline demo. Hello, welcome to Storyline. How are you doing today? Uh, I don't know. Hmm, I didn't get that. How are you doing today? Great. That's great. So we just tested our Alexa skill on our Echo device and it works. So thanks guys for watching the video. I hope to see you using Storyline soon and see you in the next one.